Guys, welcome back to the channel. So, um, yeah, just been checking out these two websites recently. Um, basically, um, you, you probably saw in the last week or so, I've been messing around with um, like an old work laptop that I managed to find. And I really wanted to play Fallout 1. I'd given it a go a few years ago, but never really got that far. So I thought I would give it another go. And then I came across the No Mutants Allowed website. I'll put a link in the description below. And that pretty much allows you to add a pack of mods to the standard game. The game that I've got is actually in storage now along with the rest of the collection. So I needed to first of all download a copy of the game, which is what I'm doing here. So once you've unzipped the file, you're essentially opening it up and then looking to run auto run. Dead easy. With the auto run feature open like that, you hit the same thing again and you're clicking. I mean, yeah, just basically just installing the game pretty much. Um, I clicked the humongous option just because I want the full game going on there but I mean pick what you like I've never really played around with it so you know I don't know what sort of difference that it makes um, so it just takes a few minutes to install uh, I'm just going to fast forward the video here okay so it's um, pretty much installed now um, almost finished and that is the um, the vanilla fallout version 1.0 of the game installed um so that's the game now if you want to and that will run absolutely fine you can play the game um you know no bother at all um i'm not actually going to bother playing it so let's get rid of that and what we're going to do instead is now we're going to uh we're going to install these mods which is called the fixed or f-i-x-t pack and there's a number of things in there um, that it'll essentially allow us to do um, there's some screen resolution fixes all sorts of different stuff um, it allows us to run it at 60 frames per second if we want and there's that yeah there's loads of stuff gameplay stuff it allows you to um, yeah it gives you all sorts of in-game options basically so we're gonna Basically, follow this install wizard here, and it'll, you know, you, you sort of go through what you want to click, just click next. This part's quite important, so instead of just installing it to wherever, you do need to go and find where the game is installed. So, you actually need to go into program files, and then under interplay, you will see Fallout saved there. So, you you do actually want to save it in that folder within the programs from where Fallout actually runs. Essentially, you, I guess you're overwriting it with this mod pack. Um, so that's quite, quite important. Then you're picking which level of modification that you want. Um, for ease, I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm just going to um, pick the, the top one. There is a custom one as well, which I've not played around with too much. And that doesn't really matter where you, you know, you can just click there, but you do probably want to create yourself a shortcut to your desktop just so it's much easier to find and run once it's done. Um, and this installing the game took about five minutes, which is why I sort of forwarded the video on. But this part of the installation that I mean, the mod pack is not as big as the game, obviously. So you can see it flying through now. It's not going to take long. I think it takes like a minute, minute and a half, something like that. So it looks like we're nearly done. Just wait for it to, I mean, you've just seen the um, the icon flash up on the uh, the desktop there, which is what we created. 
And that's what we're going to go into in just a minute. Just be patient, wait for it to finish. It will show you just here some of the stuff. So if you want to pause the video, then feel free. And it's showing you all the different things that it's changed and that it's modified. All sorts of different stuff. And you can um, pick and choose, you know, what you want or whatever. So we're going to launch the game here. And here we go. If you've played Fallout before or any of the Fallout games, this is um, kind of where it all began. I mean, other than Wastelanders, which came out in like, I don't know, the 80s or something. But this was the first game properly that Interplay went off and when they built themselves. Uh, Fallout's been particularly popular at the moment with the um, Amazon Prime series that's just launched and I guess that's probably what prompted me to have a little look-see. Now you can see at the bottom there it is actually showing that it's not version 1.0 but it is in fact a, a completely different version running now so that's how you know that it's done it. One thing I do like to do before starting these games is check out the game preferences or options so in here you can see there's all sorts of different settings from game difficulty. Uh, there's also combat difficulty as well. Uh, and there's some other things in there like violence level, um, a few other bits. I tend not to play around with them too much. Um, all the volume settings I tend to leave the same as well. And then also in options, uh, there's also like another, um, like for screen settings and stuff. Um, again, I tend not to do too much with them. It's already selected how it thinks I should probably be playing, so I tend to just leave it. So with that all done, uh, I, we can then start a new game just quick. So the first thing that you see is the character that you can select. I'm just going to take this guy, and then it starts you into a little dialogue. I'm just going to skip this. And then we are in the game. So the game starts just like it would usually, but we have these um, modifications now applied. Uh, essentially, you just sort of play the game as normal. Um, if you remember earlier in the, uh, in the video, so we selected a particular type of patch, um, but there are three different versions and it's worth bearing in mind that there are actually four. So you can select purist, half purist, or purists not allowed. But there is also a fourth uh, option to um, have like a custom where everything's customizable. I've not selected that because I want to play through the game as it was, you know, as close as it was meant to be played. But there are some parts of the game that are very, very buggy. Uh, a lot of the mods that we've downloaded um, fix a lot of dialogue settings and things like that. Um, the game is notoriously short of ammunition um, and it's a difficult game to finish anyway so it fixes without making the game too easy it fixes things like being able to come up with enough ammunition to actually finish the game um, yeah I mean if you want to check out exactly in detail all of the fixes that it applies then definitely go and check out that no, no mutants allowed video um, sorry, a website, <clears throat> and, and on there it basically goes through in detail all of the um, mods that essentially that you've applied and what it allows you to do. Um, yeah, I, with that, I, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I've still not played through the game yet, but now I've got this applied, I certainly intend to. And yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll, I might post another little video of my thoughts of the, the game once I'm done and finished. But yeah, until then, thank you ever so much um, for having a look. Do give this mod um, a go yourself. Honestly, it's dead easy. Um, you just install the game, um, download the mods, and then over sort of pop them over the top of your game. So, a doddle. <laughs> anyway, again, thank you ever so much for watching. I really appreciate it. All the best.